So you see, we've picked up in the middle of building a schedule. I didn't want to take up time as it's building out a pretty large schedule for this example. So once it's done with the schedule, it's going to bounce back to the entry form. So the next step is uh, the design of the site, which is the theme. So this should accept most well-made Drupal themes uh, in terms of their regions. It's using the context module to dictate where things show up. Um, so I'm going to use push button just to illustrate what that would look like. Uh, navigation style, this is from Alpha 3. We've gone with just left-hand navs for the time being until we better integrate things and account for different theme styles. So we'll do next. This is going to now switch to the theme in question. So you see there's those lessons and things I've been adding in. Uh, section information, this is going to be implemented fully in the future, but uh, this will have implications on the path and um, ways that you can get students automated access to this space through connecting uh, from an external party. Uh, so section number will do one, two, three, and we'll just tap next here just to put some info in there. We've pretty much mocked everything up through step four here. Uh, enrollment management, you can create OER courses that are world accessible, or you can say that this course is not accessible to the world and it's going to be managed by an API. Um, so let's just create our course version here, which will effectively finish building this version. So it goes through, verifies access permissions. It did just create a lot of nodes of content considering how few clicks we went through. So using the instructional template that I selected, it created 10 lessons. It created them based on the, uh, the API, which you know, developers can look into. But basically, it says create a home link, create the number of lessons you're told, and then put these pages under it automatically. So this is basically seeding the outline designer. Um, so if you see, I go into the outline designer now. I have this whole outline with which to work with up front. Uh, so the idea being we can come up with most of what you're going to structure a typical course around. Um, we're working on instructional models right now. People in our, our design shop are. Um, and, you know, this way you get a head start. Again, the idea isn't that this is, you know, completely inflexible and that now you, you are going to be teaching with 10 lessons of instruction. It's going to be this number of weeks and things like that. It's more of, hey, we need to get you a starting point so you can have that conversation as to where you want to take it from there. So all of this is very changeable, if you will. Um, here's a schedule, just like in the previous version. And you see we have a lot of weeks to it. Um, going over the tabs once you're in here. So there's outline designer, home link, obviously just takes you there. The schedule editor is there, so you can edit this. Um, configuration, that's your you know, typical edit form for this version. Uh, in the Drupal terminology, a version is actually a group. Uh, use, it's using organic groups. Uh, design, that lets you change the theme and add some additional settings in, which we'll probably change that to the word theme in the future. <laughs> but so if I wanted to switch over to Chamfer now, I can click that, it'll bounce to Chamfer. Um, we haven't changed any of the functionality around in this area, so you still have the ability to Upload the site banner through here, change some of the minor font styles, um, shortcut icons and things like that that you can put up there, as well as specific to Chamfer because we, we know what its settings are, we load those in. Um, there's status, which is part of the future functionality I talked about. Um, checking links, which hasn't been implemented yet, but you will be able to kind of batch job check the links that you have to external places in here. And you'll see it says, hey, this is still in future development. Um, export this version. So right now we're focusing on exporting to HTML because it's going to utilize a project we wrote a really long time ago that allowed Drupal to publish to HTML. Um, that is mostly working. It packages everything up, but it doesn't download it in a, in a tar or a zip file. So it's not really that useful <laughs> to have right now. But most of the, the functionality of that is working. We just haven't created the proper user interface for it. Uh, the last thing we get into with this is the status. So we'll leave that for the last little tutorial here, um, as well as how that extends into the future versions of Elms ICMS.